Hello everyone and welcome to my little four part mini series of the Sims 4 Create Sim demo. I was fortunate enough to gain early access to this and I could not be more grateful and thankful and I'm just so super excited to show you what this demo is all about. Before I go any further, I just want to tell you what they told us which is that this is not a complete version of Create a Sim. Like right now, you can only mess around with young adult males and females so they will definitely be unlocking the other age groups when the game actually comes out. They might add stuff, they might change something, make something look different. <laughs> so just keep that in mind when you're watching these videos or anyone else's. But as I said before, this is a four part mini series. So the first video, this one, will consist of walk style, voices, aspirations, traits, and the gallery. Second one, skin tones, facial features, body shape, tattoos for males and females, and makeup for males and females. Third, female hair, clothing, and accessories. Fourth, the last one, male hair, facial hair, clothing, and accessories. These videos are quite long because there is a lot to go over. So towards the beginning of them, as you can see right now, I will put the times and annotations so you could just like skip around instead of having to watch the entire thing. <laughs> I will also put annotations at the end so you can watch the other videos. They will also be linked in the description in case you don't have annotations enabled and there is also a playlist if you want to just like watch them all in a row on autoplay because that's like a really great feature that YouTube has. <laughs> so with that being said let's move on to walk style voices aspirations traits and the gallery. Here we are in create a sim and I actually like the simplicity of it. I'm not distracted by anything behind whatever sim I'm working on and I could just focus on them and them only and I think that is so cool and I really hope that they keep it this way. <laughs> so the reason why I wanted to go over aspirations, traits, walk style, and the gallery first is because that is what all of this is. And so I thought I would show you the options before getting into all the little details, if that makes sense. So right now we are selected on a young adult male. Again, you can only create young adult males and females. The rest of them are available in The Sims 4, it says. And there are unfortunately no toddlers in this game. I might go over that in a separate video from the series and not sure yet but you can switch between males and females of course and they keep their clothes which is cool up here where it says hello my name is you can change their name so I'm just going to randomize it Tommy Patterson sounds like a lovely name this is where you change the way they walk so this is the default walk style the perky walk style the snooty walk style <laughs> swagger walk feminine walk the tough walk, which makes me think of Elsie her vote from True Blood. I don't know why. <laughs> the goofy walk, which I think is so cute. The sluggish walk. And last but not least, the bouncy walk, which is one of my favorites. So I'm just going to put it back on the default walk style. This is where you can change their voice. And it is similar to The Sims 3 in the sense that it has three different voices to choose from and a pitch slider. So here's the first one, clear. Surely, Quissim. The second one, warm. The third one, brash. And I'm just going to go back to warm and show you the highest pitch and then the lowest. And this is the lowest. And now I will show you the female voices. Let me put it back in the middle. <laughs> so the first one is sweet. The second one, melodic. And the third one, Lilted. So I'm going to put it back on Melodic and show you the highest pitch. And the lowest pitch. And I'm going to put it back to males because that's what I was selected on before. So this other button right here is where you can edit the relationship. So you get to edit the relationships when you're selected on the sim if you have like all the sims in your household instead of waiting until the very end. So I think that's really awesome. You get to choose um, the person that you want a relationship with. So it could be roommate, sister, or wife as of right now for... Um, you know them but I'm pretty sure that they're gonna add a lot more when they unlock the other ages um, and I will show you these two other sims later but uh, something I didn't mention is that you can have up to eight sims so that's pretty cool you can either add a regular sim or play with genetics and you can just make them like a twin or a brother and change the age and the the gender so 
that's awesome. Moving down to over here, this is the randomize button. And the reason why this is so cool is because you have this little arrow right here and you get to choose what you randomize. So you don't even have to select all of them. You could just select skin tone hair and facial hair and randomize that and it changes and everything else stays the same. I really like that. Uh, let's do clothing. So how cool is that? That's so interesting. <laughs> I'm so interested in that. Uh, and for females, I'm just gonna randomize some a few times so that you could see like different outfits and possibilities for them as well. Uh, so let's go back to males. Now I'm gonna show you the aspirations and traits and to change them, you can either pick an aspiration from right here or pick a trait from right here. So I'm going to start off with aspirations and you do only get three traits, but you also get a bonus trait from whichever aspiration you choose. And what's cool about these is that you have, you know, just these basic ones and then you can choose a little sub one over here. So I'm going to start off with athletic. Bonus trait, high metabolism. It is easier to stay fit and trim when you have a high metabolism. The sub one is bodybuilder. The sim wants to work out and become as strong as they can be. Creativity. Bonus trait, muser. Musers get better boosts to their skills when they're inspired. Painter extraordinaire. The sim wants his life to be all about art and painting. Musical genius. Genius. The Sim wants to be an expert musician and songwriter. Best-selling author. The Sim wants to write books and become a famous author. Deviance. Bonus trait. Dastardly. <laughs> That's such a cool word. Dastardly Sims perform stronger and more successful mean interactions. Public enemy. The Sim wants to make enemies and be a famous criminal. Someone should totally make the Joker. <laughs> Chief of mischief. The Sim is all about pranks and mayhem. Family. Bonus trait. Domestic. Domestic Sims will see their Familial relationships grow stronger faster. Successful lineage. The Sim wants to have a family that succeeds in life. Big happy family. The Sim wants to build a large loving household. Food. Bonus trait, essence of flavor. Sims with the essence of flavor make higher quality food and drink. Master chef. The Sim wants to master the culinary arts. Master mixologist. The Sim wants to know everything there is to know about mixology. Um, some of you might know that Late Night is my favorite Sims 3 expansion pack and that is what mixology came with. So I am super excited to see this in the base game. Fortune. Bonus, bonus trait, business savvy. Business savvy Sims earn more than the standard rate from careers. Fabulously wealthy. The Sim wants to get rich and have a successful career. Mansion Baron. The Sim is all about owning the biggest, fanciest home. Knowledge. Bonus trait, quick learner. Quick learners build all skills a little bit faster. Renaissance Sim. The Sim wants to be good at many things at once. Nerd Brain. The Sim wants to be both book smart and handy. Computer Wiz. The Sim wants to know everything about computers from playing games to careers. Love. Bonus trait, alluring. Alluring Sims are more successful at romance than others. Hopeful Romantic. The Sim wants to play the field and go on dates with all sorts of interesting people. <laughs> Soulmate. The Sim wants to find and live a rewarding life with the one. Nature. Bonus trait. Collector. Collectors can find rare collectibles more often. Freelance Botanist. The Sim wants to grow plants and become an expert gardener. The Curator. The Sim wants to collect everything the world has to offer. Angling Ace. The Sim wants to know everything about fishing. Last but not least, popularity. Bonus trait. Gregarious. Gregarious Sims build friendly relationships faster. Joke Star. The Sim wants to tell jokes and become a famous comedian. Very cool. Party Animal. The Sim wants to throw and attend amazing parties and friend of the world. The Sim wants to make and keep as many friends as they can. When you choose an aspiration, it goes up here and your little bonus trait goes in this hexagon. Now moving on to traits. To get to the traits section, you just want to click on one of these hexagons with a question mark that says pick a trait. And in this section, we have four different little subcategories. Uh, the first one is emotional, second one hobby, third one lifestyle, and fourth one social. This might take me a while to get through because there are a lot of them and they all have descriptions and I do want to show you the little interaction when you click on them. So the first one is active. These sims tend to be energized, can pump up other sims, and may become upset if they don't exercise for a period of time. Cheerful! These sims tend to be happier than other sims. <laughs> 
creative. These sims tend to be inspired, can share creative ideas with other sims, and may become upset if they're not creative for a period of time. And to um, get them out of this little traits bar thing, you just click on the X over here, or you can click on the X on them individually up here. Genius. These sims tend to be focused, can share ideas with other sims, and may become upset if they haven't improved their mental skills for some time. Gloomy. These sims tend to be sad, can sigh to other sims, and while sad, gain a boost to their creative skill. Actually, like that. <laughs> Goofball. These sims tend to be playful. <laughs> Hot-headed. These sims tend to be angry, can rile up other sims, and become angry when targeted with mischief. Romantic. These sims tend to be flirty and may become sad if they don't have any romantic social interactions for a period of time. Self-assured. These sims tend to be confident. <laughs> Onto hobby. Art lover. These sims tend to gain powerful moodlets from viewing works of art and can admire art and discuss art in unique ways. Bookworm. These sims gain powerful moodlets from reading books and can analyze books and discuss books in unique ways. Foodie. These sims become happy and have fun when eating good food, become uncomfortable when eating bad food, and can watch cooking shows for ideas. Geek. These sims become happy when reading sci-fi or playing video games, may become tense if they haven't played much, are better at finding collectibles, and can discuss geek things with other geek sims. Music lover. These sims gain powerful moodlets and boost their fun need when listening to music and become happy when playing instruments. Perfectionist. The sims these sims take longer to craft items but tend to make them higher quality, gain powerful moonlets after crafting a high quality item, and gain negative moonlets after crafting a low quality item. Now on to lifestyle. Ambitious. These sims gain powerful moonlets from career success, gain negative ones from career failure, and may become upset if not promoted. Childish. These sims gain powerful moonlets from watching the kids network, become playful when playing with other children, and become happy when playing with children's toys. Clumsy. These sims tend to fail more often at physical activities and tend to laugh at failure instead of becoming upset. That is me. <laughs> that is so me. Glutton. These sims have a greater negative reaction to hunger, always enjoy eating no matter the quality of food, and will eat spoiled food. Insane. These sims can talk to themselves and have unpredictable emotions. Lazy. These sims gain power. Oh, <laughs> I didn't unclick that. Lazy. These sims gain powerful moonless from watching TV or napping as well as from comfortable furniture, become fatigued more quickly from exercise, and grow tense when performing household chores. Loves outdoors. These sims can enthuse about nature to other sims and become happy when outdoors. Materialistic. These sims can admire and brag about possessions, oh my goodness, <laughs> and become sad when they haven't purchased a new item for a period of time. Neat. These sims become happy and have fun when performing household chores and can have a cleaning frenzy and become really uncomfortable in dirty surroundings. That's another one that is totally me. <laughs> Slob. These sims are not affected by dirty surroundings, make household items dirtier faster, and can rummage for food in garbage. Snob. These sims can critique work on low quality items, are bored by low brow television, and gain confidence around other snob sims. So this slob one is pretty interesting. That means that they'll make sinks and stuff dirtier than an, a regular sim. <laughs> That's cool. Social. Bro. These sims can bro hug other bros, gain confidence around other bros, and become energized from watching sports. Evil. These sims become happy around sims with negative moodlets, can laugh maniacally and discuss evil plans, and become angry when interacting with good sims. Family oriented. These sims become happy around family members, become sad if they don't interact with family for a period of time, and can boast about family. Good. These sims become happy around other sims with positive moodlets, can donate to charity, become sad when interacting interacting with evil sims and can discuss world peace. Hates children. These sims become angry around children, become tense after try for a baby, and can become mean, uh, can be mean to children. Loner. These sims become happy when alone, do not receive negative moodlets when their social need is low, become tense around strangers, and become embarrassed more often by social rejection. Mean. These sims become happy when being mean or mischievous to other sims and become confident after winning a fight. Non-committal. These sims become tense after a while in the same job or relationship, become happy when they quit a job or break off a relationship, take longer to propose, and can 
discuss their fear of commitment. Outgoing, these sims can gain powerful moodlets from friendly socialization, have their social need decay quickly, and gain more negative moodlets when their social need is low. So those are all of the traits. And now I'm going to show you um, the gallery, which is right over here. Let me just go back to the regular menu. <laughs> Something I forgot to mention, so I'm just including this clip now, is that the sims have emotions. That's like the big thing with the sims 4 and that's why in the traits they're talking about how it affects them emotionally and the people around them and stuff so uh, I just wanted to include that in case you didn't know because I forgot to uh, mention that so <laughs> back to the rest of the video I've switched over to my sim self for the rest of this video so I could show you the gallery and the other options up here before I do that I just want to show you some things that I did not show you before like the undo and redo buttons and also the rotating ones so if you don't want to use the rotating ones you can hold down the left mouse button or right mouse button and move your mouse or the middle mouse button if you have a mouse with the scroll and just move it and it'll rotate the sim if you're like me and you like to click on the sim themselves then you can no longer left click because once you do that and you try to move it will adjust whatever you were hovered over and clicked on um, so what you have to do is either a right mouse button click and rotate or middle mouse button click scroll mouse and then to zoom in and out I just use my uh, mouse scroll so yeah there's that we also have these two buttons over here which is to start over and that will wipe the entire family out and you'll start fresh or you could save household which is also a button up there that I'm going to show you right now for the options up here the first one is save household and you can save the household from pressing this little check mark on the bottom right too but I'm just going to press this one and it takes you to like how you want to save your household uh, the name which is up here and I just have her name Nicole K because I only have one sim in here so I just wanted to put her name as the household name the bottom picture on the right side has your aspirations and your traits as well as a picture of your sim and then the top one you can actually randomize their pose so that is really cool there are a few different poses you might see some repeats but if you have enough patience and you want to click this a bunch of times then you could choose a pretty cool one so I'm just gonna leave it at that one you could give your household a description so mine just says sim self and then in parentheses Nicole K games as it's written on my channel forward slash Nicole K games as it says on my banner and then uh, this comment section will be enabled once you share the sim so this button on the bottom right is how you actually save your household to your own library so I'm just going to click it and since I already have the sim saved I'm just gonna say overwrite and you get a little notification and then on the bottom left you have the option to share household to gallery so I've already shared this sim um, uh, so I'm just going to remove her and to remove her all you have to do is click that button again and it says remove household from community are you sure you want to remove Nicole K from the gallery all the households downloads and favorites will be cleared and I'm going to say yes and if you have a Facebook account you can share it on your Facebook page um, but I don't use Facebook so I don't have that enabled so yeah let's get out of this and then I'll show you what it says you shared household Nicole K view item details and then it just takes you to over here uh, it shows who made it um, and this is really cool because if someone were to download my sim or your sim and they edit it and then re-upload it it still says that it was created by you and edited by them so if you have a problem with people you know stealing your sims in the sims 3 or something because I know a lot of people that have that happen to them then that is a really nifty feature for you and I think that's pretty cool it also says when the sim was shared and uh, yeah you can comment on it now it's enabled because because it was shared but I took it off so this is like <laughs> Uh, not updated you can also showcase your sim but since I took her off it says server error could not process request but I did showcase the one sim my sim self that I uploaded earlier today and I don't know what it does I assume it makes her like top priority it puts her at the top of their list or uh, my, my library list or something when you go to look at my creations so yeah let's move on to the other stuff moving on to the gallery itself it takes you to the home page and it shows you sims 4 sims this is like the main picture that pops up most of the time and if you click on it I believe it takes you to the sims.com it shows you how many players are online which is cool 330 at the moment and total households in the gallery 3623 and that is only after two days <laughs> 
total households in the library, eight, and then it shows you your notifications and things that your friends on Origin have created and done, and then also trending hashtags. Onto the community tab, we have uh, sims that other people have created, households, you can download them here. If you wanna download them, you just click on them and then say, save household to my library. So that is really cool. Ooh, check this guy out. That is awesome. I'm digging the beard and the hair and the ears and the eyebrows. I like these sims. These are so cool. Uh, so you can also sort them by downloads seven days, downloads all time, uh, favorites seven days, and then favorites all time. And you could also go through the advanced settings and it just shows you how many sims are in each household. So there's one, two to three, four to six, seven to eight. I'm not going to go, uh, I'm not going to click on those because it'll take a while for them to load and include unowned content. So I'm assuming that means like expansion packs or stuff packs that you might not have and also um, maybe store content if they make store content although I'm pretty sure that they will <laughs> and I'm not sure if they're going to be able to support custom content I've heard different things about that so I'm unsure yet um, once I find out I might make a separate video about that it's Jessica Rabbit oh so cool all right oh look Miley Cyrus Anyway, moving on, you can also sort it by who created them. So there's Maxis created and then people that you are following slash friends with on Origin, I think is how that works. So yeah, you can also search for Sims if you wanted to. So I'm just gonna type in, uh, I don't know, let's just type in a name, John. Okay, cool. John White. See? There we go. You can also search for people. So if you have um, someone's origin ID, like mine is Nicole K, spelled N-I-C-0-L-E-K-A, you will see my creations. If you want to add me on origin, you can. I always add people there whenever I'm on and whenever I check it. So uh, I'll put it like in the middle of the video so you can see it. And you can search hashtags. I don't really, uh, fun. <laughs> no okay there's no hashtag for fun that's fine <laughs> but you can search hashtag so it's pretty interesting and the last tab is the library tab so this is my library you start off with five households that you can't delete so if you wanted to you won't be able to delete them but I actually like them so I don't really mind look this one's name is Fogel <laughs> awesome you also have the sims that you have made and the ones that you have downloaded so you can again sort them by downloads seven days all time favorites seven days all time and then the size of the family so that is very awesome you can sort it by who created it like Maxis created Sims 3 creators the ones that I've created and the ones that Maxis has created and I have downloaded like I have downloaded this one so adorable that was my favorite um, sim guru Twitter icon I like it. I like it so much. I had to have that sim in my game and I finally found her and so I downloaded her. <laughs> you can also search your own library for for um, names and hashtags and stuff. So there's that. There's the gallery. I really like the gallery. I think it's a great idea and it's, it's really cool. The next little button up here is the notification wall and I have notifications disabled because I get distracted easy and I didn't want um, to be distracted while I was making a video. And here is the options menu. The first option uh, is for game options. We have graphics. Of course, you could change your graphic settings, audio settings. I have music turned off because I didn't want it to sound choppy because I know that I was going to cut this video a lot. So yeah, <laughs> other settings, online access, auto reconnect in case you get disconnected, online notifications, again, have that disabled. And again, don't use Facebook, privacy and cookies terms and EA terms of services. You can apply revert or restore. Um, these settings. Next one is help. It takes you to a website answers.ea.com and I'm not going to go there. Next is lessons and it shows you all of the lessons for create a sim. So we have create a sim, camera controls, randomize, and then a bunch of different lessons. And it's cool because it'll help you like navigate through and there's a bunch of different, you know, pages to look through and stuff. So very interesting. Uh, and then you can quit the game, of course, if you want to quit the game. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it interesting or anything <laughs> the next one will be skin tones facial features body shape tattoos for males and females and makeup for males and females if you would like to watch that one or any of the other two then click the one that you would like to see next on the screen or check the description in case you don't have annotations enabled and if you're watching on the playlist on autoplay then i will see you in the next one bye everyone